When God fills you with the Spirit, sit down. When he fills you with the Spirit, the Spirit is going to come in with boldness. Fake stuff, over. Two-faced it, over. Backbiting, over. A supernatural discipline is going to take place in your life. Look at your neighbor and say, I know that's right. Two young girls in the crusade that I was having, they're down there inside this crusade. Glory be to God, they want to go the next night to the crusade. They call up this taxi driver. This taxi driver come. He's in dreads. The car smells like ganja weed reefer. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Uh, tow up. They get inside the car. He starts driving them to, towards the crusade. 20 minutes later, they realize that the ride is only supposed to be 15. We're five minutes behind. She says to the driver, she says, man, you're taking us in the wrong direction. He totally said, just shut up. One girl was saved. The other one wasn't. The girl that was saved just put her head down and said, Father, in the name of, isn't it wonderful that you got somebody you can call on when ain't nobody there but you? Said, Father, in the name of Jesus. And immediately, she started speaking in tongues. The girl that wasn't saved nudged her and said, you better stop that. I think you're getting on his nerve. The driver looked through the rearview mirror and said, she can talk all she want to. I'm going to take her someplace and rape her. When the girl heard it, she said, she started praying in tongues. She stopped long enough to look at the other girl and she said, if you knew what I knew, you would be praying in tongues too. She kept on praying in tongues. While she was praying in tongues, interceding in the realm of the spirit, no idea of what she was praying for, but the whole Holy Ghost was making intercession for her. She felt the car swerve from side to side and then swerve again from side to side. Then the car pulled over. The driver got out of the car, opened up the door and told the two girls, get out of the car. She said, sir, what you mean? We don't know where we at. He said, girl, get out the car. She said, sir, please, please don't leave us here. He says, I don't know what it is, but while you were speaking in tongues, two forces came and started running on both sides of the car. He said, when I looked through the rear view mirror, all I saw was wings and feet go up in the air. When he said that, the girl that wasn't filled, she turned and said, he katabasakata. God saved her and filled her with the Holy Ghost. The driver said, get out my car. Get out my car. But the girl that just got filled, she turned to the driver. She said, sir, you brought us from East 98 and you're going to take us right back to where you got us from. When the Holy Ghost you shall have power. Somebody say power. We gotta get the power back in the church. Somebody call on the power. Come on, call on it. Call on the Holy Ghost. Call on the power. Gotta get the power back in the church. Gotta get it. Right now, you've prayed some prayers that was held up because you didn't know how to pray. I dare you to lift your hands right now and pray in your prayer language while God releases angels on your behalf to release your stuff. Go ahead, I dare you. Yakata Baba. You let the world know and see that you have a supernatural connection to glory. Hallelujah! No weapon formed against you. Namasha Kotobo Sata. Handabasata. Some of you are being refilled right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Some of you are getting a double portion anointing right now in the name of Jesus. If you want it, just reach up and get it right now in the name of Jesus. Forget who's standing next to you, who's in front of you, who's on the side of you. Open up your mouth and receive the blessings of God in your life. Namashakataba. 
Sounds like Pentecost in here. It's yours. Don't be afraid of it. It's more than a badge that you wear. It's the indwelling of God on the inside of you that gives you power to combat the forces of the devil. Hallelujah. 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 Look at that. Look at that. One filling but many refillings. The NIV says one filling but many refreshings. Lift those hands all over the building. Lift them up high. Bless his holy name. He's anointing you for every task that is before you. Some of your spirits has been wrecked by a divorce. Wrecked by separations. Wrecked by mental and emotional abuse. Wrecked financially. But tonight, God wants to fill your cup. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You feel him? I feel him. He's in this place. Look at that. Right where you are. It's happening all over this building right now. Bishop, I've been preaching, but I ain't been filled. I've been singing on the choir, but I ain't been filled. I've been, ush I've been serving, but I haven't been filled. But tonight, God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost. It is a promise. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. Namasha kataba. Fill my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. One more time. Get those hands up. He's going to do it right now. Fill my cup, Lord. Say it. I lift it up, Lord. Say it. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Let me hear you say it. Fill it up. Let it ring out. And make 